Hello and welcome back to the shed. In today's video I'm going to go through what should be the first handsaw you buy. Hope you enjoy. So I just want to let you know that I'm only going to be talking about western saws here which are all these saws you see on the bench here in front of me. I don't have any experience with say the likes of Japanese pull saws which I know a lot of beginners like. So if any of you out there have any experience with other types of saws other than the western saws or even if you've got your experience with the Western saws, please sound off in the comments below and let everyone know. When it comes to choosing a handsaw, you first need to know the two different tooth types. That is the rip cut saw, which you can see up here, and the cross cut saw, which you can see up here. The rip cut saw is for going with the grain, and the cross cut saw is for going across the grain. So now that we know those two types, we need to know that we have hand saws that are longer like this one they might be referred to as bench saws or hand saws depending on the length and we have other saws like these back saws which can have brass or a steel back like this one and we also have dovetail saws which tend to be smaller for doing dovetails and then we come all the way down to something like a gent saw here which is great for doing dovetails as well so if you're doing a lot of rough dimensioning, then the hand saws are probably the way to go. However, if we're looking at a first hand saw for a beginner to use, perhaps we don't need to go to these sort of saws because you're probably most likely already working with dimensioned timber or planed timber that's already ready to go. So perhaps a tenon saw is the way to go if you're doing lots of tenons. Or if you're doing lots of box work and you're doing dovetails, perhaps dovetail saws or a gent saw is the way to go. It obviously all comes down to what projects you're doing. So let's dive in and go a little more depth into this to help you make your decision for your first hand saw. If you're working with a lot of sheet goods, both of these saws will actually be very hand handy for you and beneficial. Now, if I had to just choose one bench saw, I'd probably go with the rip saw. This is a 12 teeth per inch and in a pinch as they're more used for the rough dimensioning and you're going to be putting a hand plane to the board or the sheet grid after you've chopped with it. I go with just a basic rip saw with about 12 teeth per inch as you can get away with maybe not the smoothest of surface but you can get away using just that one saw in, in your rough dimensioning and your cross cutting of boards because it's not really a final finish coming straight off the saw here as you're most likely going to be hand planing after sawing that. So if you're not chopping a board to length or, or a wide glued up panel or a sheet good and you're not working with rough timber you probably can forego having to use the long bench saws at least to start with. If you're working with a lot of already planed up material that's already good to go from the store. In that case, I would choose a tenon saw. I believe this one was a 250 mil plate and that's what I believe is the ideal length for a tenon saw or a dovetail saw. Now tenon saws, like all other saws, come with a rip cut tooth and also a cross cut tooth. Now I prefer a rip cut tooth on my tenon saws, especially if you're actually using them for cutting tenons on the ends of your material. Obviously you have one cross cut that comes in when you're doing a cheek of a tenon but if you're going to use a knife line there then you can get away with using about a 12 teeth per inch as this one is in terms of a rip cut tenon saw to still get a nice clean cut. The other thing that I like about a tenon saw like this is that in a pinch you might have to be a little more careful but you can also use a tenon saw to cut dovetails as I've done right here with this one in a few of my videos. And then we move on to dovetail saws and the gent saws. Now the reason I group these two together is that they both perform the same function. Obviously you have a pistol grip dovetail saw as you see here and you also have the gent star that has the straight handle. Now the reason I mention both of these is that it comes down to personal preference. If you really like the style and you're used to using this style of handsaw then you could go for one of these. However, I like putting the gent saw in here because for a beginner it is a very cheap option especially if your early projects are cutting a few boards to length because you can still cut to length with a gent saw especially 
if you're just using thin material and you're making some drawers or boxes and the like like that, you could get away with doing all the processes with a gent saw like this. If I had the choice, I would probably have what I have here. I probably wouldn't use the pistol grip saw as I find I don't use that enough, but I would have at least one cross cut bench saw, one rip saw, a tenon saw, and a gent saw. That would be my complete set in the optimum world, but if I was choosing just one saw and to be my very first saw, I would definitely go with a tenon saw. As it is very versatile and allows you to perform on some larger material as well as the smaller work of dovetails. So there you have it folks. I just hope that this video helps you to make the decision when you're choosing your first hand saw and what it comes down to in the end of the day is the projects you're using. So I just suggest you go out there, do a little bit of research, work out what projects you're going to be doing and make your decision from there. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. And as always, leave comments below talking about what your favorite saws are or what you recommend in terms of Japanese pull saws or any other saws on the market. And check out these great videos on the screen here to help you in your woodworking journey. Bye for now.